Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a quick look video at this little needle felt otter I made. So before I uh, show you guys this little otter, I want to tell you why I made him. So as an artist, inspiration literally comes from everywhere or anywhere and a few weeks ago a friend of mine had posted this picture and it says otters have a little pouch on their bodies where they keep among other things their favorite rock now why she posted this was because she collects rocks and i don't mean like you know she collects rocks like people collect stamps like where they have you know thousands of them or trading cards but just, you know, every once in a while she'll pick out a rock that's just, I don't know, I don't know if it speaks to her or just has a certain look. But she, you know, will occasionally collect various rocks. And so that's why she thought it was cute that these, you know, otters have a little pouch that they collect, you know, or put their favorite rock in there. And so that got me down this rabbit hole on the internet on reading about otters. And, um, and I was like, well, I don't think they're like you know, kangaroos or koalas where they have a pouch where they keep their young, but it ends up they do have a little pouch on their body where they do store their favorite rock. And what they use this rock for is, I think, for like breaking open like shells, you know, like clams and stuff like that. But instead of doing that where I'd have to make the pouch really small, I thought it'd be cute to do, you know, a plush one out of needle felt and then give it a little pouch. So... I gave him like a little purse or pouch and I even made it so you could put in a, a little little rock. So th the little otter I made is just under nine inches tall or just over, well actually just right around 22 centimeters tall. So I did use polyfill or fiberfill for the base, so he's pretty firm, and I shaped the entire thing out of that, and then I covered it with the wool roving, and then I added um, two little plastic eyes to him. Now you can get the eyes from like Hobby Lobby and, and Michaels and, and online, but also you can get them from old stuffed animals if they have the hard plastic ones, so these are actually from an old stuffed animal. I think one time I went to Goodwill and got a bunch of them. Um, so I do have plenty or several from that time. So that's what I did for the eyes. And um, sometimes I'll sculpt the pieces for my felted wool projects, you know, like teeth and noses and stuff like that. But for him, I just used the black wool and just kind of made a tight little grouping here to make his nose. And then the rest of him, or all of him, except for the eyes, is made out of the felted wool. So, give you just a good look at this little otter. And I've been wanting to do more needle felt stuff, so I will have another needle felt video on Monday. It'll be a little bit longer one, and I'll actually show you how I make one of my needle felt projects. But I also have a few other videos. Um, there is a needle felt playlist down below if you want to check those out. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick look video at this little otter. All right. Remember, never stop creating. Bye.